Hello everyone, and welcome to my Vanderpump official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Thinking of her as ex slash child daddy Randall Emmett was so purportedly scuzzy, there was both a La Times article and a Hulu narrative about his supposed offenses. Lala Kent of Vanderpump Rules presumably now views herself as a genius with regards to tracking down obscure men. Furthermore, since Kyle Richards and Mauricio Umansky's thrashing marriage has been a steady wellspring of information recently, Lala has spoken on it on a couple of events in spite of having no dog in the fight, since that is exactly what she does. This time, Lala took to her web recording and communicated her conviction that Mauricio must have truly done Kyle messy, in line of Kyle's freezing dealings with him displayed on the momentum time of the genuine housewives of Beverly Slopes. Here's beginning and end she needed to express, civility of her web recording. On the most recent episode of her digital recording, Give Them Lala Lala, chose to play analyst in the secret of Kyle and Mauricio's confounding isolated, yet not discussing divorce circumstance. In her brand name straightforward style, Lala analyzed Mauricio's jokes on RHOBH season 13, guaranteeing how Mauricio is to her, calling her adoration bean after the tattoo. Also, he's like, I want to believe that I can see it frequently. She's like, all things considered, you are seeing it now. He accomplished something messy. He has lost himself to her heart. He no longer does it for her. He is chilled out. What messy thing is Lala alluding to? Probable Mauricio's steadfastness, which has been raised doubt about a few times throughout the long term. In any case, it's not all shade in theory. Lala likewise paid proper respect. She acclaimed Kyle for her recently discovered compromise abilities, shouting, I don't think she has at any point been more appealing. Furthermore, I love that she's not avoiding struggle. Struggle generally used to make her so awkward. There is something so engaging about her this season. This isn't whenever Lala first has said something regarding Kyle and Mauricio's relationship show. Back in October, she spilled the tea on her digital broadcast, saying, Kyle and Mauricio were similar to objectives. Isn't that so? What's more, indeed, I live in lay. I've heard thunderings for some time about Mauricio. Presently, I know where there's smoke, there's fire. Be that as it may, there are insane individuals who simply make asterisk tup. Furthermore, Mauricio is extremely hot, so I could see individuals making up that they connected with him. Since Kyle and Mo's division, he's had excursions with his hitting the dance floor with the star's accomplice Emma Slater, vocalist Anita, powerhouse Alexandria Wolfe, and a partridge in a pear tree all with hardly a pause in between. Thus, on the off chance that he wasn't planting his oats before he and Kyle isolated, he sure is currently. After Scandoval emitted and stirred up the Bravoverse, essentially every one of the Vanderpump Rules cast upheld Ariana Maddox. That abandoned Tom Sandoval, with just Tom Schwartz to embrace him. Both Sandoval and Rachel Levis were rammed at the season 10 get-together. Rachel entered an emotional well-being office a short time later. She additionally chose to leave Siphon Rules. Sandoval seems to have crawled his direction back into the gathering. Sheena Shea would rather not abandon him. Schwartz isn't fit for it. Also, even Lala Kent appears to have mellowed her perspectives. All things considered, she safeguarded Sandoval at BravoCon. In this way, for some's purposes, the most recent Siphon Rules mystery wasn't a shock. Be that as it may, for some others, it was really surprising. In another VPR season 11 promotion, fans saw Katie Maloney and Lala stir it up. It's excessive, Katie told Lala. You're excessive constantly, Lala applauded back. I concur with Lala for this situation. Lala and Katie's fellowship has forever been a roller coaster ride. Last season, Katie was frosty as a result of Lala's companionship with Sheena. Recall when Katie believed that Sheena asked Rachel to connect with Katie's ex, Shorts. Obviously, at that point, 
Sandoval and Rachel were at that point having an unsanctioned romance. Yuck. Lala attempted to be companions with both Shanna and Katie. Yet it appears as though there is strain among Lala and Katie once more. It very well may be on the grounds that Lala allegedly attempted to contact Rachel. Why Lala would choose to connect with Rachel is a secret. In the meantime, Katie isn't simply Ariana's amigo. They are probably colleagues in the sandwich shop, something about her. If by some stroke of good luck, they could open the damn spot. In this way, Katie would likewise be irate assuming Lala reached Rachel. Also, we should not fail to remember that Lala is evidently desirous of the multitude of beneficial things that have come Ariana's direction. Vanderpump Rules alum Kristen Doubt is opening up about feeling used by new cast member Joe Winberg. Suffers know her as Tom Schwartz's roommate and occasional association chum. Yet she was also preliminarily a close friend of Doubt's. Kristen Doubt feels habituated by new cast member Joe in season 10 of Pump Rules. It came out that Tom Schwartz had a roommate named Joe, and it just so happened to be a womanish. Everyone questioned if this was his new gal, but he maintained that they were just musketeers who would hook up. Over time, it was revealed that she was introduced to the group through Kristen Doubt, but gave anyone who knew her the creeps. Katie Maloney, short sex wife, noted she no way liked her in any capacity, and ultimately, Kristen, and Joe stopped being musketeers. This forthcoming season, Joe is seen more, indeed participating the caravan on her Instagram. Now, Kristen has a lot to say about how her former friend made her way onto the show. According to Us Weekly, Kristen spoke out on the rearmost occasion of her podcast, S asterisk X, Love, and What Differently Matters. She explained all the details about Joe, their fellowship, and why she felt she was cast. To validate Kristen's story, her swain, Luke Broderick chimed in that Joe was the first friend he ever met. The coming time Luke and Joe saw each other was the evening Ariana Maddox learned that Tom Sandoval was cheating on her. Soon, Joe went radio silent on Kristen, which was strange for the 40-time-old. Doubt went on to add that it was Joe who stopped the fellowship, and also added, Now all of a unforeseen, she's on the television show The Canned Me. Musketeers wonder in the end. Kristen Doubt participated that musketeers of both her and Joe have wondered if she was being used all along simply to get on the hit Bravo reality series. This would not be the first time. James Kennedy joined the show in season three as Kristen Swain, Han ASUR busboy. Originally, he was moving in with Tom Sandoval, but also he started hooking up with Kristen. Interestingly enough, no bone. Heard of Joe Winberg until season 10 and Kristen was long gone. So, was she really using Kristen? Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and don't miss any updates.